Hi there, in this short video we talk about how to name angles correctly. So AB is a line, X is a point on the line AB and because there is the line that PQ that intersects the line AB, X becomes a point and there are four angles around the point where X is. If we have a look at this angle over here that has got a green marking on it, there are various ways that we can talk about this angle or name this angle so that everybody knows which angle we're talking about. The first way to talk about this angle is to name it X1. The little hat on the X means angle, so we are saying angle X1. Alright, so you're going to find X and the angle labeled 1. Another way to refer to this angle is to call it angle AXP. That means that you travel from A to X and then from X to P and the angle is at X. So we go from A to X to P and the angle is enclosed by the two lines upon which you have traveled. You may also label this as PXA. All of these three angles are the same way of talking about this angle that is marked in green. Right, can you label this angle or can you name this angle in the three different ways just like we did for the first angle that we've talked about? Pause and try. These are my answers. Do they match yours? Right, what happens when we are looking at a combination of angles, a compound angle for want of a better word. Well, there's a few ways again that we can label this angle. We can talk about it as angle Y1 plus angle Y6. We don't say Y1 plus 6, we say angle Y1 plus angle Y6. Another way is to label it from P or X down to the angle and then along the next line just as we did with these. Okay, the angle is enclosed by line PY and YS. Or, instead of going from P, you could go from X and say XYS. Maybe you've got some ways to label this angle, this compound angle. Pause, try and see what you get. Here are some of my answers. There are more answers, but those are some of mine. Now, when we're talking about a single angle like X1, we prefer to use this way of labeling rather than these ways of labeling. But when we're talking about a compound angle, we actually, instead of using this single letter form of labeling, because there are two, we prefer to use this type of labeling. Hopefully, you now know how to label angles, and when somebody else has labeled angles for you, you know which angles they are talking about.